these Italian New Jersey psychopaths. Yeah. You said the Italians in North Jersey were psychotic? A lot of these times, Joe, I'm 81 years old. I never met a psychotic Italian. Okay. All right. Okay. Mr. Rogan, with all due respect, I'm going to have to say that's probably a lie. A lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jersey Italians are probably some of the most psychotic people in the world. Now, hey, whoa, whoa. That doesn't mean all Italians, okay? I grew up with a lot of Connecticut Italians that were stable, God-fearing, hard-working people. Just salt of the earth, awesome fucking folks. But the Jersey Italians is the Sopranos, the Goodfellas, the psychotic mobsters that were beheading people and throwing them in the trunk of their fucking cars. God, you know what? I fucking, I don't believe him anymore after hearing that. I actually, hashtag, I stand with Joe. I want to talk to you guys about the Joe Rogan drama. The Joe Rogan family drama. Where is it? There we go. Hey, Papa Rogan. So, you know, for those of you guys that don't know, Joe Rogan has frequently in his uh, past always mentioned the fact that his stepfather was an abuser. I think that's his stepfather, right? Um, that he was an abusive piece of shit. He was an alcoholic that would beat his mom, that, that would beat him, and he was just out of control. Well, his stepfather is fighting back. And they are now using the media and their resources to put out a counter narrative against Joe. And they are trying to apparently reach out to Joe behind the scenes, but he won't talk to them. So we're going to watch this video. And this is Joe Rogan's dad. Well, this has been verified, right? Or at least his stepfather or whatever. And his sister. And they have a bone to pick with him. So we're going to see what they have to say. And it doesn't sound good for a Joe, I tell you, because they speak with a lot of conviction. You'll see what I mean. They speak with that Italian conviction. Like, how dare you? You fucking insulted our family. You fungul. You frozo. Let's watch. You lied about me. Your father. If you lied about your father, what do you, will you give, you give up the world. I'm tired of it, Joe. You know what, Joe is probably, it's, it's kind of fucked up because this guy sound he has pain in his voice, you know? So who's lying here? Is it Joe or is it his family members? I don't know, but Joe should fucking address this because it doesn't look good. Joe, I just had enough. If you can't talk to me face to face, you're a punk ass. That's all you are. You got all the money, everything, but you know what you don't have? You don't have no heart, and I'm going to tell you something else you don't have. You ain't got two balls. I don't want to talk to your father because you couldn't handle me. 81 years old, you couldn't handle this guy right here. And of course, if his father is telling the Dra Dragon Fox Solid said, I think it was his real father, stepfather was okay. So, okay, so you're saying this guy is his real, like, biological dad or whatever? Yeah, maybe. Um... If this is true and Joe Rogan has been lying, think about all the other shit Joe Rogan has potentially lied about. Maybe Joe Rogan wanted to present himself as this like broken guy that came out of a broken childhood and, you know, wanted to show people that you can still make something of yourself, you know, but it's still fucked up. It's like, have you ever, have you guys ever met these people that want to have bad lives? They pretend that their lives suck, but they don't. I've met a few people like that. Like there was a rich, spoiled girl that I went to school with. Her name was Nicole, right? She was hot. She was a very hot Sicilian girl. And she would constantly talk about how her life was awful, how her dad was like abusive, how her mom didn't give a fuck, right? And then I would talk to her other friends, right? Like she had a best friend named Amanda. 
And Amanda would be like, oh, no, she it's all lies. Like, she, she lies for some reason about her family, and it's bizarre. Like, nobody knows why. Her family is so sweet. Uh, they're absolutely, like, angels. Her dad is a really hardworking guy. Uh, her mom is, like, a, a, you know, typical Italian, traditional woman. And, and, you know, that was it. But for some reason, this girl, Nicole, would always lie about her own family. I think the the idea here is so that you can be a victim. And so people can feel sorry for you. Right. I think it's kind of like that. Uh, what is that? Munchausen syndrome by proxy where it's like you want sympathy from people. So you will make up whatever fucking crazy bullshit you can in order to get it. And when you said I beat up kids, I beat up other women. Joe Harrison was, when you farted in your house, they knew next door. <laughs> Kenny said, Amanda had nice tits. Yeah, actually, they were all right, Kenny. Yeah. Sure. How could I get away with that? My real father was crazy. He was like a psychotic person. He beat the fuck out of him. Like he would be the type of- You owe me a big apology. He said you beat the f he beat the fuck out of me. So is Joe Rogan trying to do this thing where- he was victimized and maybe he wanted sympathy from people, but he also wanted to look like this kind of badass that came from nothing and he came from abuse and he was able to make something of himself. I don't know. I don't know. It is interesting. And I have to say that this, this guy, right, his dad coming out this late in the game and doing these videos, it's certainly out of left field, but maybe it's because he's finally had it. Like he, he, He's tired of having his name slandered by his son, and he wants a chance to fucking redeem himself. Maybe he knows he's going to die soon. I mean, this guy is old as fuck. I mean, his fucking face looks like my ball sack, right? Literally, his face looks like my left testicle. I can show you guys. Do you want me to show you my left testicle? Hold on one second. No, no, no. It's all right. I, I won't do that. But you know what I mean. So he's about to fucking die at any moment. Hashtag died suddenly. And he's like, before I go, I got to clear my name because my piece of shit WAP son has ruined my reputation. Apology. Joe, you were taken away at a very young age. Oh, that's Joe's sister. I wonder how tall she is. I wonder if she's taller than Joe. Okay. Unfortunately, you did not get to grow up with the man that we were fortunate enough to grow up with, that my kids are fortunate enough to grow up with. Smacks women, uh -huh. beats the shit out of kids. When he went to college for, for acting, he had to take a- Smacks women, beats the shit out of kids, damn. Yeah, Kenny said, save it for OnlyFans. You're right, Kenny, thank you. Kenny, you should be my business manager. Yeah, sign up, 10 bucks a month, you guys will see my ball sack. Drama. It beats the shit out of them. So I went from living- I even draw funny faces sometimes on them. Oh, yeah, I can do all kinds of faces. I can do the Spider-Man uh, mask on my balls. Around these Italian New Jersey psychopaths. Yeah. You said the Italians in North Jersey were psychotic? A lot of these times. Joe, I'm 81 years old. I never met a psychotic Italian. Okay. All right. Okay. Mr. Rogan, with all due respect, I'm going to have to say that's probably a lie. A lie detector determined that was a lie. Uh, yeah. Jersey Italians are probably some of the most psychotic people in the world. Now, hey, whoa, whoa. That doesn't mean all Italians, okay? I grew up with a lot of Connecticut Italians that were stable, God-fearing, hardworking people. Just salt of the earth, awesome fucking folks. But... The Jersey Italians is the Sopranos, the Goodfellas, the psychotic mobsters that were beheading people and throwing them in the trunk of their fucking cars. God, you know what? I fucking, I don't believe him anymore after hearing that. I actually, hashtag, I stand with Joe. I stand with Joe. Let's repeat what he just fucking said. I can't believe I'm hearing this. He had to take up drama. It beats the shit out of them. So I went from living around these Italian New Jersey psychopaths. Yeah. You said the Italians in North Jersey were psychotic? A lot of these times. Joe, I'm 81 years old. I never met a psychotic Italian. Oh, hey, I'm walking here. I never met a psychotic Italian. It's just like every mob movie 
in the world is about like New Jersey Italians and the mafia. <laughs> so what, what kind of, they should have edited this. They should have deleted this part out of the video. This statement alone harms all of his credibility. It's like this guy comes out of nowhere to defend his name. And then he throws this crazy fucking statement in there. Come on, man. These crazy ass Italian psychopath Italian. This guy, dude, this guy's really fucking good. He talks like this. For some reason, he talks like he keeps pinching a nipple. It's like he has a fixation with nipples. Watch. Italians over here, you know what? We, we know one thing for sure. We know family. We're not caught up in the bullshit over there in Hollywood and all that, bro. We're down to real roots, okay? And this man is the real root, brother. You always revert back to your roots, Joe. Is this guy Joe's brother? He looks like Joe. I'm not going to lie. He kind of looks like a, a taller, skinnier Joe Rogan, right? If Joe Rogan was like five inches taller and uh, and never went to the gym, but just had a really fast metabolism, this looks like the kind of guy that Joe Rogan would be. What you doing, man? Sit on the other side of the table, my man. No cameras, no nothing, bro. And not me. Don't worry. I won't be here. I'm sorry. This guy... This guy's definitely tortured some people for protection money. You you bet your ass. He's definitely he's definitely went to some convenience stores in North Jersey and asked them for for some money. You can tell with a baseball bat in his hand. Oh, my man, no cameras, no nothing, bro. And not me. Don't worry, I won't be here. I'm sorry that all this happened to you. From the bottom of my heart, I am sorry because you will never know what you have missed out on in life. I love when I see the comments. They just want the money. They want the money bag. I have a box, Pandora's box. And if I open it, Joe, things would get really ugly. But see, we don't. Holy shit. That's pretty scary. I have a box, a dick in my box. Imagine if she said that. <laughs> Imagine if it just took a left turn. She's like, I have a box. You know what's in that box? A dick. I cut it off some random guy 13 years ago. And I still have it till this day. But that's besides the point. And then she just keeps on going like it never, like she never even said it. That would be fucking crazy, dude. Ooh. You touch oh, my ta -la. you touch my ta la la. Mm, my ding ding dong. My ta la la. I have a ding ding dong in my box. Roll that way. I, a psychopath from New Jersey, we don't roll that way. Italian psychopath. Italian psychopath. Whether or not you Italian. like it or Why not. Why are you part? You're Italian. He's bro. three quarters Italian, whether or not he likes it or I not. I don't know, but you better so look I in the mirror know. real yeah. quick. It's about time you become a man, Joe, and get to reality. You were wrong. You lied. We all know you lied. Joe Rogan lied. People died. So everybody's mindful on something, okay? You're looking at a real cop, real detective. Bro, I love the way this guy fucking talks, dude. Blah, 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 blah. You're looking at a real cop. He looks like he just took a bunch of Adderall, and he has no idea what to do with his hands. <laughs> he's, like, he's like Ricky Bobby. When Ricky Bobby doesn't know what to do with his hands, and he just keeps doing random shit with them, and he's just doing this. You're looking at a real detective, okay? Okay, this record is squeaky clean. Let's just get that in perspective. Joe, I will say if his dad was a cop, that doesn't give them any more credibility. All right, we, we know the abuse rates in police households, so you know, that kind of if anything, that gives more water to Joe's story, right? To his side of events, in front of everybody, I'm looking at you and I'm pointing a corrupt, a corrupt North Jersey cop. That was for the taking, right? That was uh, that was uh, accepting bribes and then coming home and beating his wife. To tie to tale as old as time. We've all seen it. We've all heard it. Martin Scorsese has made fifteen movies about it. Come here, sit down, and me and you talk. That's it. I won't tell nobody what was said. Yeah, Kenny's like, I love how they're doing thinly veiled psycho Italian threats, right? <laughs> It's like, they're like, we're, we're not psychopaths. We never met a psychopath in our life that's Italian. By the way, we got a fucking box with your fucking name on it. You fucking wop fuck. <laughs> it's like, whoa. Jesus Christ, dude, way to play into the caricature. My goodness. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, am I right?
<laughs> I've never met a psychotic Italian in my life. By the way, the trunk of my car has your fucking name on it, all right? And so does this bullet. I'm a stand-up guy. I ain't like you making up stories so I can make money. I don't do that shit, especially family. I don't do that. But I'm going to tell you. In the end, it's about family. Tell you something, Joe. Before you go here and you come here and you sit, do me a favor. Go buy that set of balls. The men that don't have their fathers. He's back. He's back. He just popped another 30 milligram Adderall. His fingers are going crazy, dude. <laughs> He's like, the men that don't have their father. Can anybody get me a nipple? I need a fucking nipple to pinch. My fingers are dying. I need a fucking nipple. Can wish that they can only sit beside them one more last time. I know that's me. It's coming out here just trying to connect this selflessly, brother. I'll tell you what I believe in, Joe. Family is everything. Everybody else you meet, you think you're on Broadway, you think you're the this, you think you're that. He thinks Joe is on Broadway? Oof. I don't know. The more these guys are talking, the more they're kind of putting themselves in a hole. You don't even know what your son does. <laughs> He's like, Joe, Joe's this big. Bro <laughs> He's like, Joe, you're this big Broadway big shot dancing in your fucking <laughs> in your fucking tights in your leotard. <laughs> like, wait, what? Are, are you sure you have the right Joe? <laughs> Everybody else is a bus ride. You get on and you get off. But family is after all these years. They barked at me, barked. He's like, he's like, Joe, you may think you're this big shot ballerina. Wait, what? <laughs> ballerina? Sir, your son is a podcaster. <laughs> your son has the biggest podcast in the world. What what are you talking about? Who gives a fuck? I got a bullet with his name on it. But sir, you said Italians aren't violent psychopaths. Ah, you shut up, you fun ghoul. Family is everything. Everybody else you meet, you think you're on Broadway, you think you're the this, you think you're that. Everybody else is a bus ride. You get on and you get off. But family is all these years. They barked at me, barked at me, barked at me. I'm barking back. But Joe, you know what you're gonna see? You're going to see the real me, your real father now. I'm no joke. I can't, that fringe minority gets to see you. He's at LOL Broadway, right? I can't get the image out of my head of Joe Rogan now on Broadway doing this weird, like, spinning dance with his arms out like a fucking flamboyantly gay man wearing tights. Like he's in The Lion King or something, you know? <laughs> Joe Rogan is Mufasa families that were very very close no matter what goes on in our family it has always stayed within our family this whole joe thing is something very new to us this is the only way to respond to him because we've re we've we've contacted him privately now this makes sense like if they've if they have tried to reach out to joe privately to no avail, then it does make sense now that they're they're going public, right? They're taking the public route. Because if you're really trying to clear your name, if Joe actually did lie, then yeah, I, I would say, especially Joe being the biggest podcaster in the world, right? Um, If he did lie about you, then yeah, you got to fight back somehow. I mean, that would suck. He doesn't want to hear what we have to say. He doesn't want to hear a story. He doesn't want to hear the truth. But here's the thing. When you make an accusation... You have to back it up with proof. And when there's no proof, there's no truth to what you're saying. So we have a box full of proof, Joe. We have proof from the attorney general's office. We have proof from the police department. We have proof from... What does that mean, dude? Holy shit. I, I'm hoping that they follow up on this, all right? Because I want to know what this proof is. As of right now, I don't think Joe has acknowledged or addressed this. But it's gaining traction. I mean, it's got... This is just the one on Twitter, but there's several videos now that they've made. And they're all gaining hundreds of thousands of views. So I don't know how much longer Joe can ignore this. Legal cases. Ever use He'll probably bring it up in passing on one of his podcasts with like a, some random fucking guest. He always does that. He always addresses things 
under the guise of like a casual conversation with the guest, right? It'll be like in the most random, like mundane manner that he just addresses something that's like huge. Said my father's a psychopath. My father beat children. My father beat women. My father beat your mother. We have proof, Joe, that it never happened. Real the dad's like, I was a New Jersey cop. The only thing I beat was black guys, okay? How dare you? Proof, legal proof. Where's your proof? My father wants is 25 minutes alone with you. No cameras, nobody around. And Joe, do me a favor when we meet. Bring your report card from the college you went to the drama school. I know you had to pass that test. There's two parts of the story. Wow. Was that a slight from the drama school? I know you had to pass that test. <laughs> it's such a gay, like, insult, you know? Okay, so for all you Joe Rogan fans out there, Joe's been telling his side of the story for 27 plus years. Now it's time for the original Rogans to tell our side of the story. Unfortunately, Joe didn't want to address that. Rogan mania. Because he doesn't know how. So we have lied about <laughs> rogan mania dude oh my god it's the battle of the fucking rogans holy shit what do you guys think i don't know i'll tell you what this guy soiled his credibility with me as soon as he said he's 82 years old or whatever and he's never met a violent uh new jersey italian like my friend have you ever been pulled over in new jersey by an italian cop in the 1980s i don't know <laughs> Have you ever walked into a, a deli or an Italian restaurant in the 1980s? <laughs> you look at somebody the wrong way and they'll go Joe Pesci on you and they'll fucking have a, a six shooter pointed at your fucking head just for staring off at them for one second just because you, you happen to glance over in their direction. <laughs> My God, that's pretty funny, dude. Kenny said Joe's dad just wants to be his manager like Crowder. Yeah, you think that's what it is? <laughs> Oh, my God. You know, it would be interesting for Joe Rogan to have his dad on. I think that would be one of the best episodes of the Joe Rogan experience that could be delivered is, is uh, an in-depth, honest look, a retrospective on Joe's upbringing through the eyes of his so-called abusive father. I think that that would be, you know, podcast gold. But, of course, I don't think Joe's going to take it. I don't think that I don't think that he has anything to gain. Because if he gives his dad a platform, if he acknowledges this stuff, then it's going to damage his credibility, like badly. Because now it's going to be like, oh, Joe Rogan literally lied about his own fucking dad being an abuser. What else could he fucking be lying about, right? Anything at that point. That's pretty big, right? Lying about your family, that's like a line that you don't cross no matter how famous you get. So I don't know what to think of it. I think it's interesting. I think that they have a right to come out and defend themselves if Joe is lying. But uh, I, it would be funny if Joe Rogan addressed it, you know. Rito said, oh, hey, Theo Vaughn. Dude, you know, Alex Jones is retarded crazy. Anyway, have you ever had Elk stay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rito's doing a Joe Rogan impression there. Kenny said, oh, I want that proof. Uh, me too. I want I want to know what's in this box. Is it, in fact, a dick? Or is it? evidence and what evidence could they possibly have from the attorney general's office like what what can there be in there that would somehow discredit joe right like joe was a child was he was joe some psy psychopath kid oh i figured it out oh my god that's what it is do you, have you guys ever seen that movie orphan where there's the little russian girl that gets adopted by a family and she's like a psycho. And then at the end of the movie, it turns out she's not a little girl at all. She's a 30-year-old fucking woman with a, with a stunted growth. That, that's what it is. Joe Rogan has looked like a five-year-old boy ever since he was like a kid. And even now, he's not very tall. So maybe he was adopted into this family. And he was like this crazy psychopath and they have court statements. If you guys have seen the movie Orphan, you will know what I'm talking about, all right? It makes sense. In my head, it makes sense. I'm so happy 
Cause today I found my friends, they're in my head.